How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's build showcase of this 2021 Ford F-250 for the Hillsborough Volunteer Fire Company. So we're taking a look at this 2021 Ford F-250, Hillsborough Fire Company. Uh, sound off signals, blueprint electrical system as always, giving us complete vehicle sync, control over our patterns based off of our uh, transmission signal. And we also have uh, additional features for our door triggers tied into the system. So we have expandable flexibility, custom graphics package to match their existing fleet. We've got a Weston full wrap brush guard on the front. Enforced traffic stick on the front in red blue combo with the white override. Tricolor M powers on the side of the brush guard. We've got a headlight flasher currently on Park Kill. M power on the side logo for intersection warning. The whale and R just installed for a spotlight. We've got two M powers on the running boards, four inch with the white override feature. We're utilizing sound off signals, N-fused light bar, dual color. And then you can take a look, we installed this ARE cap. We have our electronic locks installed that are tied into the factory locks. So they unlock and lock with the vehicle's key fob. Another M-Power on the back, four inch stud mount, tri-color. What you'll notice on this side is solid door, pin switch installed, tied into blueprint. So we're able to turn on our compartment lighting. This one is open to the cabin of the truck, so you are somewhat able to reach in and grab anything that you may need out of this side compartment. Um, our compartment lighting inside is the Firetech brand 48 inch red in compartment light. Their HD model, very sturdy light. Taking a look at the back, eight mod arrow stick on the roof. Tricolor, amber arrow, white override. Graphics package on the back. Hella Hero Flex, flashing white. Red, blue, four inch M powers on the bumper and on the back tied to white. Taking a look at the back, custom designed slide out command cabinet. Thousand pound slide master with the IMS lock. We've got our extinguisher wedges cut in. Ratcheting magnetic command board. File drawer. Small compartment or another extinguisher if you'd like. Small equipment. Knox box. Two radios. USB outlets, we installed, uh, recess mounted our speakers to the top, keep them out of the way, still able to hear it, comes out with the slide master. So with the thousand pound slide master extended, 100% extension, we have an adjustable track shelf, custom made cargo netting, and then on the driver's side of the cabinet, full height adjustable shelf with cargo netting to keep the gear in place. Another pin switch installed on the back cabinet so that we're able to turn the compartment lights on. This is the heavy duty ARE cap. So you'll see that it has the, uh, the track system in it to give us a heavier duty aluminum shelf, which is very nice, diamond plate. Another FireTech compartment light mounted inside the compartment to give them lighting. As with all of our builds, accessibility is key. We like to mount our electronics underneath the rear seat of the pickup truck. So what it does is it gives us a great place for the chassis to mount, which give you accessibility to reprogram or to service them. We also have our main distribution for our uh, lighting and siren system with all of our fuses, our Blueprint 500 amplifier and relay box, and it allows us to mount everything for future expandability. Um, our electronics compartment made out of HDP material, fully welded, uh, designed to fit the truck. Taking a look at the front console, um, it's one of our padded armrest series. Uh, we've got all of our controllers heads cut in, along with an extra radio, the controller, your cup holders. We have the Argus controller tied into there, and then we have a hint mount laptop mount for them to be installed. Um, as you see a lot of our installs, we mount our speakers up to the headliner to allow them to project down to you. We can also mount them on the side of the console, but being up top there gives you a nice projection of sound while you're sitting there, allows you to hear it a little bit better so that it's not down in your feet and being muffled. Wrapping up the video, we're showing you the vehicle in our drive response mode. You can see that we, our flash pattern has increased. We've added white flashing to the light bar, to our grill light, and to our headlight flasher. 
giving you a little bit more aggressive pattern when you're responding. All programmable, better suited to fit your needs. If you're interested in a vehicle like this or you have any questions about this install, please comment on the video. Please feel free to reach out to us via email or give us a call. We'd love to help you out.